What's up, guys? This is Jeannie Ifoe, the one and only African superstar. And I want to talk about something that I wouldn't normally talk about on the channel because I know people would get so upset. And that is what I think about the people that are going to have to be left behind um, when those of us make our moves to the motherland. Um, the reality is we all have access to this information, okay? Um... Maybe as children, maybe as young adults, we didn't have access, okay? Uh, but now we have access. We have a lot of our peers providing this information. We have Facebook. You know, things are constantly getting shared with us, constantly getting exposed. People are sending stuff to us through WhatsApp. You know, we're seeing what's happening in the West. We're seeing, you know, I mean, I can't even tell you how many probably thousands of black men that I've personally seen throughout my life being killed by police or having some kind of like contention with the police, okay? I think I've seen, you know, way more black men being affected by police brutality than any other man. Um, I've seen my people depicted in very negative light. Black women just portrayed so negatively. I've seen white people portrayed like they're angels, you know, like they're gods, like they're so superior and all this stuff, right? The reality is like, even if you don't have all the knowledge, you still see things and you still have a choice of what you're going to do. And I always tell you guys, but I just have to reiterate, we're going to leave people behind. And that's okay. These people are making their choice. They're making their bet. Okay? A person who loves life, loves themselves, wants the best for their future, and is in a position to do it, will go for the alternative option. So, I hate to be callous, but I don't feel any type of way. I don't even really feel sorry for them. Because I'm like, look there's so much evidence to kind of compel you, you know, even like right now with this situation with this boy, Ahmad Aubrey down in Georgia. Okay. Gun down, running in his neighborhood, whatever, whatever. Black people are protesting. <laughs> They're waiting for the courts to give them justice, justice that the courts have never delivered before. It's beyond a point of us talking about what we want to do now. Mm -mm. It's beyond that. Okay? It's kind of like those of you with children. When you talk to your kids, you keep telling them, hey, look, stop doing this. You better get good grades. Stop skipping school. Don't disrespect me. You know, some kids will listen. Um, more rebellious or stubborn kids, they got you got to show them. The reality is when these people inflict violence on us, they are not worried about repercussions. They don't fear God. They don't fear hell. They don't fear us. They don't fear the law. The people that are choosing to stay behind, guys, leave them to it. I know it's going to be hard. I know it's going to be hard. I even have people I'm going to leave behind. You know, even with all the media I provide from the motherland, even with all the exposure over the years, there's some people that still don't want to hear what I got to say. That's fine. You have to get past this, guys. It's a part. It's an element. A lot of people are not even going to make it. A lot of people don't want to. A lot of people don't have resources. A lot of people aren't, you know, even if they embarked on a journey, they wouldn't make it. This is the truth. I want to thank you guys for subscribing to my members only channel. I'm not going to be holding back on here. Okay. I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to say what I want to say. I figure, hey, if you guys are willing to get a subscription, y'all want to hear what I got to say. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to hear what I got to say, so I'm going to say it. Thank you so much again for joining our membership only. This is for you. Until we meet again, stay black and true. If you ain't black, just stay true.